What's going on YouTubers? It's your boy Loki here from VIP Custom Prints. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on sublimation and how I got my colors to pop. As you can see to the right, I'm going to run a, a quick short video how everything is nice and vibrant and my colors are finally showing out right. Um, it's a couple things that you need to do to get all of your colors to do right. Just a note, I'm using the Epson Equal Tank 15000 along with Cosmos Ink using an A sub 125 paper. So basically the first thing that you need to do is you're going to have to go basically you got to go and just make sure you have the right drivers. So you're just going to Google whatever a printer you have. For example, like I said, I have the Epson 15,000. So you're going to add uh, that Epson 15,000 drivers. So you're going to go right to the page. It's usually the first one. So basically after you go there, you're going to wait, you're going to look for it and you're going to look for the first one and it's going to say drivers combo pack. Uh, package installer. So you're just going to download the whole thing. I'm not going to install it and download it because I already have mine installed the right way. You know, you'll get the, uh, the installer, you run the whole installer package right here. The next thing you have to do, and this is where everybody goes wrong. After you download your drivers, you have to go to printers and scanners. It's going to ask you to go there and then you're going to find the one that you're using. For example, I have two up here. This one actually had the wrong drivers and you'll know you have the right drivers because when you click on options and supplies, it'll tell you what version you have right here. If it says two or four or anything like that, that means you have the wrong thing. So right now they're up to 10.8.5, 10.85, I'm sorry. Now, after it asks you, after you get to this part, it's gonna ask you to add the printer. This is the key thing. So after you click the plus, you're gonna add the, the printer. It's going to ask you, and it's gonna ask you to highlight it, and you see if you installed your drivers, it's gonna show up. I have two printers down here, but this is the one we're gonna be using for this tutorial. And usually down here, especially for our Mac users, I think on PC is the same, it's gonna ask you what you're gonna do. So it's gonna ask you to install the drivers, and then it's gonna use. The problem is right here, the secure air print is not allowing you to download all the drivers. So what you're gonna have to do is click it and then you're gonna click Epson ET 15,000 or whatever your printer is, that series. Then you're gonna click it and then you're gonna add it. And then from there, you're gonna get the full drivers. And later on in the tutorial, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so after you get that done, after you run the software and everything is good, when you get your files, you're gonna be ready to print everything. So basically what I use is, I use two, I use Adobe Illustrator and I use Silhouette. So basically I'm gonna show you on both how to do it really quick. So first I'm gonna to go to Illustrator. Here's your image right here. Here's the one I just printed out. You're gonna go, if you're using Illustrator, it's pretty much the same on every program, uh, but I'm just gonna show you uh, for the purposes of, of my tutorial, what I'm using. So you're gonna to go to your print and after you go to your print, you can go to your page setup and you know it's going to ask you to continue and you just want to make sure everything is set up to the format whatever series one two or three how many times whatever one the drivers are on you have to know which one it is have on a us letter then you can click ok here's the key thing you're going to go to setup continue and here's the key thing i have mine saved because i saved the setting i can i can show you how to do that in the latest tutorial but for right now basically i'm just going to show you how you get your colors to pop. And you will know that your drivers are set up if you have all these options. If you only have some of the options, it's not set up right. I'm gonna tell you right now. So basically, you, what you wanna do is, and this is what I use, and this is what I've learned watching tutorials and, and getting taught by many people, you're gonna go to your color matching. You're gonna go to color sync. You're gonna set your profile to Epson IJ Printer 07. That is the print profile for the Epson 15,000 and most of the Eco tanks. If you have one of the other printers, whatever profile it gives you, that's the one you're supposed to use. You're gonna have other ones down here, like the RGBs, the Adobe's, or whatever you're using, color IC, you know, they have a lot of different profiles. But the one that works best with that printer is the one that they're gonna give you. And after you select it, you're gonna hit the print button so it saves it. And then you're gonna to go to your color management inside of your Illustrator. And you're gonna make sure that it's lined up and it's on the same thing. 
um, basically let Illustrator determine colors. Your printer profile must be on Epson IJ Printer 07. That's the key. And then when you hit print, um, you know, after you hit print, everything is going to come out the way you want. And trust me, you're going to know on the first print when you're printing it right, it's because it's going to look a little bit different and it's going to look crisper. Um, for you all have been doing sublimation, you notice that it looks a little bit blurry and a little bit dull. Still going to have a little dull, but it's going to be much more cr crisp and you'll be able to tell. So right now I'm going to go into Silhouette and this is just like I said, this is for my Mac users. I'm not sure on PC. I'm pretty much at the same premise, but I'm not a PC user. So I'm a Mac user. So on Silhouette, it's pretty much the same thing. You're going to go to your print. And after you see, after you have it lined up and everything how you want it, you're going to go to print. Um, I'm just going to make a little sound. Don't worry about that. And then you're going to find your printer. So I'm going to be using the Epson ET15000 Series 2. I have Series 1 up there, but that's the one that doesn't, it's not installed right. I just didn't delete it yet. So you're going to click on that. So animation setting, or you can have it on default settings or whatever. However you want to set it up, I just saved mine to the setting. So then you're going to go into your color matching and you're going to make sure it's on color sync and the profile is Epson IJ uh, Epson IJ printer 07. Again, you're going to have all these other profiles in here. My suggestion is use the print, use the print profile that is assigned to this computer and that's it. Also, what you want to do, and I guess I should have showed you in Illustrator, but I'm going to show you here also, when you go to your print settings, you want to make sure that your media type is premium presentation paper mat. And you'll know because you'll have all these options because you'll know that you have the right software and everything is correct. You want to set it to that so it knows so your printer will know how much ink to put down and on that type of paper that you're going to be using. Because remember, sublimation paper is not like plain paper. So you might want to have a little bit extra ink on it basically to get those nice crisp popping colors and you know you can mirror the image if you haven't mirrored it already then you click print and everything is going to print out so basically that is the secret that a lot of people have been keeping and i'm just going to put it out there that this works for me again i'm using the epson equal tank 15,000 along with asa paper and cosmos ink um a lot of people have been using adobe uh, rgb profiles but um i've just been learning over time and i've been reading that the RGBs don't really work good with sublimation ink. That's for something totally different. Um, some people have success and it comes out okay, but for these Epson printers, they come with a profile and that's the profile you're supposed to use. So basically, um, that's pretty much the end of uh, this tutorial, just letting you all know how I got these colors to pop. I'm probably gonna show you one more time. And it came out like really, really good. Um, I'm amazed how they came out. Um, this is the first time it really came out so crisp and so clear. And basically, I would just tell everybody, you know, happy subbing. Uh, click the subscribe button. And you can follow me on Instagram at VIP Custom Prints. And, you know, check me out. Let me know if you like the video. If you dislike it, let me know everything. And basically, this is how you're going to get your colors to pop using sublimation. Thank you so much for your time. And you enjoy your evening or day. Or be safe out there. And. Happy subbing.